welcome to Forensic Detectives. I am Dr. Kaz, your gas meter, gas detector, and today I am your carbon dioxide monitor expert, folks. And today we're filming from Hermosa Beach, California. You have a CrossFit gym. It is an indoor facility. Your clients are working out, they're exhaling, and the CO2 levels are going up. So too is the moisture content. We're exhaling moisture in micro droplet form. Folks, attached to those micro droplets could be pathogens, could be COVID, could be influenza. We're working out harder and harder. We're exhaling more and more CO2s accumulating, and so too is the pathogen concentration and research has shown from Berlin, Colorado, Harvard that the correlation factor between the risk of those pathogens infecting your clients and carbon dioxide is very very strong. So CO2 is a fantastic proxy to determine the risk profile. So in other words when CO2 gets to a certain high level it's a great idea to start opening up some windows and getting some fresh air in your facility folks. Forensics Detectors has these fantastic CO2 monitors that I have designed, Dr. Coz, with large digits to show you the carbon dioxide level, temperature, humidity, rechargeable battery in this version, and you plug it up to any USB charger and it charges the battery, so it's a fantastic idea. It has alarms to alarm you to take action, of course. Now, what's unique about Forensic Detectors Dr. Cuz is working hard and he's designed the world's first three prong wall mount version folks you pop it in bang and you forget about it and you could pop it into any wall outlet in your facility folks so we have the two versions and you could purchase it from us at forensics detectors look till then work out well be happy be safe and stay healthy see you later folks let's get straight to the unboxing of our carbon dioxide monitor by forensics detectives just go ahead it's a very strong box corrugated box over here folks first you will find your usb charger this pops into any usb smartphone charger so grab yourself your smartphone charger and pop it on pop that into your computer also or even now they're having those usb wall plugs you could just pop that in on the other end it goes into the monitor folks we have our monitor let's put that on the side it's nicely bubble wrapped so it doesn't get damaged in transit we have some messages from dr coz we love your feedback please read that and your manual folks if you ever lose this it is on our website so please read the instructions if not watch this video carefully now go ahead unpack the monitor from the bubble wrap as you could see it's nice and snugly in here let's go ahead and just go forward and you could take that off okay folks you could there's little plastic screen protector now look folks there's a little on button at the back make sure that's fully depressed dr cause dr cause it's not turning on that's because your finger's probably too large and it's not depressing the on button this is a common question and problem people have make sure it gets depressed all the way and it engages and it turns on and then it goes through a 10 second countdown and bang the detector is on that's how we turn on the co2 detector check it out folks large screen this shows you the co2 instantaneous reading humidity and over here we have temperature you press enter the backlight turns on immediately it's a beautiful backlight we have the time up the top battery indicator and date and on the side we have the led indicators folks at the bottom smiley face means great medium face means medium and Bad face means alarm, we need fresh air. And the on indicator, folks. On the back, we have the grills. Please make sure never to block the grills. The on button, as we have discussed, and product label and serial number. And check it out, folks. Look, there are items over here where you could put some screws on your wall and have it wall mounted. Not a problem. And on the table stands, we have those little outlets there and it can stand on the table quite rigidly it's not going to fall so you see it's well designed with low center of gravity dr kaz is thinking about all these items for going into the menu selections now before we start playing with these buttons these are touch sensitive okay folks the harder you press the less sensitive it gets so the softer more, more gentle you are the better we're going to be um, engaging the functionality so menu press it lightly and you scroll through the menu first is a bell that means silent or enabled with regards to the sound the next is our 400 which means calibration the next is adv which means setting our alarm thresholds and the next is our time functionality now whichever one you actually select it isn't a matter of just having it flash to engage 
each each menu you have to press enter to get into the menu then it knows where to go otherwise if you're just pressing menu and then trying to change it with these up down arrows that will not work okay so if you want for example to go into calibration mode press enter if you want to calibrate it you have to hold it down for three seconds and then it's going to start calibrating okay hold it down for a while and then you have the 250 second countdown and that will calibrate to 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide now this is only done in special situations folks keep the monitor outdoors for 30 minutes before you actually do this and then it's going to count down and then it'll recalibrate to the outdoor carbon dioxide level so next functionality folks is changing the alarm levels press menu go to adv press enter you have your low and you have your high you have your low and you have your high whichever one you want you have to press enter and you can change it now okay let's change it to 400 i'm going to press enter and it takes me back to the main screen i want to go back and change the high level go to menu go to adv press enter scroll through i want to select the high alarm press enter i want to take it all the way down to let's say 450 just so we could trip the alarms press enter it goes back to the main screen the led went to red as sad face and you could hear it that's the alarm that i just engaged from the high alarm now let's assume that's annoying dr guys in my gym that's going to be annoying i got the picture i have to get fresh air so what do we do you have to go to menu go to the mute mode press enter and mute it so you want the um, cross across the bell and then you go back to menu and that has muted and disabled the the audible alarm the next functionality folks is changing the time it's quite straightforward folks go to the clock press enter okay then you could scroll through the um the digits date and time and whichever one you want to change okay let's say we want to change the 10 to 11 press enter and then that engages the edit mode okay let's say i want to lock it in at 12. i'm going to press enter okay it takes me to the next and you have to press enter to engage i hope that makes sense folks because some people call me dr cos how do we change this well you always have to press enter to get into edit mode okay folks edit mode bang i could do it now and then press menu that will take me back to the main screen okay so before you do anything or if you want to change it you have to press enter to get either into the menu or to make a change it's very important folks and that's basically it. so we've done the calibrating we've changed the alarm levels we have changed the time and you've also seen me mute undertake the mute function and that's all the functionality this little beauty co2 monitor has from forensic detectives now be safe be well and happy days folks see you later bye bye